Hey, what's going on guys? Jolt here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Band of Sitarak. Yep, it is a reference to a character from the Marvel Universe known as Sitarak. This shield is very interesting, so without further ado, let's jump into the video and show you guys how to get it. Alright, so what you're gonna do is head over to Eden 6 at Ambermire, and you're gonna head over to this camp right over here. And now at this camp, you can find a rare enemy known as the Unstoppable, which is a reference to Juggernaut from X-Men. Now, this guy is a rare enemy, so if you don't see him over there, go ahead and save quit and try again. So, I'm gonna head over and I'll meet you guys over there. On the way over, be sure to hit this new use station so that when you save quit, you're gonna spawn right here, making it a very short walk. Alright, first run. I don't see him. So, we didn't see him, so we're gonna go ahead and save quit and try again. There he is. Five runs later. Alright, let's take him out. Alright, first round we did not get the drop, but yeah, as you can see there, he looks like Juggernaut from X-Men. He's got the red color theme going on there. He's pretty hard to miss if you walk into this camp. So I'm going to keep farming and try to get the drop. Alright, kill number four. And we got it. Cool. I'm going to clear the camp and we'll check it out. Okay, we have the Fallout Band of Sitorak. Am I saying it right? Sitorak? I think. Maybe. The capacity is extremely low, but the recharge rate and delay are extremely high. Red text is, I said, that. Bonus weapon damage while the shield is depleted. A good bonus on maximum health. Triggers a Nova when the shield breaks. And also bonus fire rate when the shield is depleted. So you're getting bonus damage and fire rate when the shield is depleted and also setting off a Nova. Hmm. The shield is very triangular or even diamond shaped with this piece up here. Um, that's normal for a pangolin shield. So um, yeah, the color theme is pretty cool too. I like it. The blue and the red mixed in there with a bit of purple and a touch of yellow. Yeah, looks pretty good. So, my normal fire rate, let's see. Ah, uh, pretty fast, about 10 bullets a second. Let's break the shield. Yeah, definitely faster. And we're also getting more weapon damage too. Look at that recharge delay. So shield's broken. And wait for it. And it's full. It's like the Crack Sash from Borderlands 2. It's like extremely fast, but really small capacity. And Nova does 10k. Holy crap, that's a good amount. Alright, base damage is... Whoop. 8,100. You break my shield. 9,700, even more. Yeah, you get a damage bonus. And as for the maximum HP, let's see here. So we're at 5,900. You pick that up. 7,400. Final thoughts on the shield. It is not all that bad, but it's kind of hard to use. The recharge rate and delay are so fast that you don't really have time to benefit from the bonuses unless you're in Fight for Your Life. So in Fight for Your Life, this shield is actually really good. Having that 25% maximum health is also nice too. Overall, the bonuses are solid, but the capacity is so low that it makes you very squishy. You will be finding yourself in Fight for Your Life quite a bit. I would say give it a try, you know, try it out for yourself and see if you like it. For me, well, at least on Flak, I think I'll pass. Actually, before I go, I want to show you guys one more thing. Um, if you want to get the bonuses on demand, you can do soft damage by, you know, stripping your shield. Uh, but, you know, it's a bit of work. I don't really feel like it's really worth it, but if you really want to get those bonuses, you can do that too. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.